Hello, everybody. I hope you guys can hear me. If you can let me know if you can hear me on the live, um, that would be really appre greatly appreciated. Just let me know in the comments if you can hear me. Hi, guys. Hi, all of my one Chicago fans. How are you guys doing? Um, this is my first time going live on YouTube. Um, and I wanted to do something different for you guys. And so I decided to kind of, cause you guys have so many questions for me. So I wanted to like have a little place that we can all talk and share and go over, you know, one Chicago. Um, okay, good, great. You guys can hear me. Thank you so much. Hello, hello everybody, hello, hello. So I want to get right into this story time because I want to, you know, give you guys some, hey Brazil, you guys are in the house. I love this. I love this. But I wanted to talk about One Chicago because I wanted to like spill a little tea, um, give you guys, you know, some information on some misconceptions about how the, the day goes, how I get the interviews. So let's jump right into it. And I'm going to try to pay attention as well. Um, to your comments and your questions and things of that nature because I do want to um, go over any questions that you guys may have. Um, we're going to do this for at least 30 minutes and see how it goes. And if you guys like it and you still have questions, maybe we'll do a part two. Okay, so let's just try the first one. So I was just looking to see when I started doing One Chicago. And I think I want to say it was 2015. That was my first One Chicago, um, you know, day that I had ever experienced. I remember the day like it was yesterday um, and what I wore. And it was just like your thrust. And it, it's huge. You're in this huge uh, where they film here in Chicago. They have like this whole setup for press and media to go. So um, my first time going, I, I, a little secret, I was not watching the show. It was like literally my first time. I did not know what to expect, but I thought, hey, it's a Chicago show. I want to do this. This will be awesome. So I went and um, at first I was sitting at this little round table and everybody's talking and I'm like, uh-uh, this is not for me. I want to go on that red carpet and I want to talk to them and have my own personal, you know, connection with them. So that particular year when I was there, um, I still talk to this publicist to this day, but he was giving me everybody. He was like, do you want to talk to LaRoyce? Do you want to talk to, you know, uh, Jason? Like he was just giving me everybody. And I was like, okay. And I had noticed when I was on the red carpet, we have all the media outlets, okay? So you have like your bigger ones like E! News. You have um, like the bigger NBC shows and things of that nature. So I'm like further down on the carpet. They get to go first. And that's where sometimes I miss to get, like, my, I think my first year, I didn't get Taylor. I didn't get Jesse, both Jessies. Um, I didn't get a, I didn't get, oh, this was around the time that Sophia was on the show. I did not get her. There was so many people that got missed. And I was like, Arr. okay. So, um, when you're a smaller media outlet, that's why it's so important for people to support and 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 watch and pay attention and you know subscribe and like and share content because that I'm telling you a hundred percent helps me get the next interview and be able to interview you know Jesse at the drop of a dime. You understand? So I'm on the carpet and I see all these bigger media outlets asking these like really boring. This is my lips, my lip gloss. How's the show? What's going on with the show? Huh? Show. And I'm like, that's so boring. Nobody wants, they, if you're a fan, I, I'm thinking in the mind of a fan. If you're a fan, you already know what's going on with the show. You want to see some good stuff about 
your favorite actors, you know, like what make, what do they eat on the weekends, right? What movies do they watch? What do they binge? So I had, um, as I was watching and I was on the red carpet and I didn't watch the show and I didn't know anything really about the show, it was only natural for me to ask personal questions more so like, you know, do you fart? When, you know what I mean? Like it just crazy questions, you know? Um, and so that's kind of how that style spawned. It was kind of like, uh, you know, thinking in the mind of a fan, if I'm a fan, what do I want to know about my favorite artist, music artist, or my favorite actor? I, I really, I, like, I want to know about what's going on with them and their character in the show. But really, I want the stuff that's going to make me laugh and make me like watch it over and over and think, oh my God, he is so amazing on and off screen, right? So that's where I got that style that you guys so love. And, um, and, and, and that's how that all came about, right? So year after year, as it got bigger and um that's where all of that comes from so i know a lot of you guys are like oh just get to the show stuff and blah blah blah, blah. but if you want to see information about the show stuff then you know go to e-news or those other you know you know what i mean like those other platforms because you're gonna get a little bit of the show stuff with me and then a little bit of the personal stuff so that's that um let's look at these questions so i can uh, answer because I do not want to miss out on any of what's going on with you guys. Um, let's see. I'm from Kent. Hey. Oh, that's okay. So this is a whole, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just like looking at the comments trying to get you guys in here. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I think I saw somebody say, um, have, have I, who's my favorite, um, actor uh, from the shows? Okay. So that's a hard question to answer because I honestly, they're all super nice. When I tell you, um, I have interviewed, I, I think you guys have seen Marina. I've interviewed both Jesse's. I've interviewed Eamon. Like they are all absolutely nice and it would be so hard um, to pick one. Um, one Chicago fan page says he's, or you're from the UK and you want to know, how did I get the opportunity to interview them? Um, oh, that's a really great question. Um, so since I'm in media here in Chicago, I've interviewed a lot of people. I get random like, hey, you want to interview our artists? Like, hey, what you doing? You want to interview this? Um, so I think that's how it happened. It was a very long time ago, so I don't remember. Um, but yeah, that, that's how that happened. Okay. So let's go back to the comments. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. Here we go. Um, thank you one Chicago for the compliment. Uh, how did you get into interviewing? Oh, that's a great question, Sabrina. Um, so I got to start interviewing. Oh, I'm trying to like do this. Okay. So I, uh, got the chance to start interviewing when, or I'm sorry, this was Elizabeth that said that. Um, I started interviewing in 2007. I started interviewing in 2007. Um, so literally here in Chicago, I, it was like my dream. Like I wanted to do entertainment reporting and I'm like, you know, somebody hire me, you know, like, can I work at your station? Da, 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 da. And all I got was no, 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 you need experience. Uh, and I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's what I want to do. So I started my own TV show here in Chicago. Literally, it was like a, 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 on a cable station. We were interviewing like local talent around the city. And then um, we got a call like randomly because we started like making a name for ourselves. And randomly we got a call and they were like, hey, do you want to interview Nellie? 
I'm like, oh my God, yeah. So then it from there, it was all these other, you know, Robin Thicke and all these other t celebrity talent. And then it just like continued to keep going. And then I was on the radio here in Chicago. I was a traffic reporter. And um, yeah, so I just started my own journey. So don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do anything. I promise you, you can. Um, okay, so can you tell us some things here about Upstead? Um, hmm, what can I tell you? So let, let, let's start here, guys, just being honest. Everything is really about the writers and how they do it, right? Um, the actors like kind of know what's going on, but they really don't until they get that script, um, if that makes any sense. So, you know, if the writer decides like, hey, we want to break them up, they're going to break break them up. If the writers decide that, hey, we want to put them back together, they're going to put them back together. You know what I mean? But um what I, what I will say is that um, I think with the shows, I, I kind of knew when Tracy came on, I knew that they were going to kind of pair her up with Jesse. It, it just kind of made sense for the show to do so. And that's why if, in one of the interviews I asked, like, what is this? What's going on with y'all? You know what I mean? Like, is, is this like, are y'all getting together? And they don't ever want to answer that for me. They, because you know, that would be like giving away the show and you guys won't tune in. So, um, you know, a lot of the relationship stuff, um, I find very interesting and in how they pair it. Um, just because, you know, you, some of the unlikely pairs, they end up pairing, but yeah, it, it, it's funny. Um, so Let's keep it going. Now getting, let's see what you're saying here. This is big toe. I love how girls are now getting into firefighting and stuff. Go on girls. I call it firefighter. I don't like firemen. Okay. I, I feel that. Um, okay. So here's another one I get. I'm so jealous that you get to interview all the actors. I would love to meet all of them. Honestly, I have not interviewed all of them. It, believe it or not, I, Monica Raymond, I never got her. I never got Sophia Bush. Um, who else have I not gotten? It, maybe that's the only two that I have not gotten. Um, and yeah, I, I, I wish I could interview all of them, but sometimes I do not get all of them. And I, oh, and that's the thing I want to tell you guys. So I send in a request. Um, NBC, NBC knows me. Um, I've been working with them for a very long time. So I will say, when you guys say to me, hey, can you interview Jesse? I will say, can I get an interview with Jesse Lee so for so I can do it for the fans? I will literally say that to them and they'll say, oh, he's not available or, oh, we're not doing that right now or, oh, you know, no basically. So, um, again, and, and I, I try to show the numbers. I'm like, look, I try to show you guys his comments. I do everything that I can to tell them, please let me get these actors. And, um, sometimes it does not go the way that I would like it to go. Um, but I think this time around we might get lucky. Okay. So just hang in there guys, but I'm telling you, keep, keep saying that, keep putting it out there that, um, you know, you want me to interview them. Okay. Um, thank you, Shy Hard. Your interviews are so much fun and interesting. I try. And if there's things that you guys want me to ask, please let me know. I try to do that as well. Um, and I, I try to make it so engaging and engaging for you guys, because that's so important to me. It's so important to me. Um, I know you, this Lucy's asking me, who's my personal favorite character? Hmm. So they're not on the show or, or is it just like who I honestly like? So, okay. I will, I will pick one from each show. So a Chicago PD, I would say, come on, you all know. I do. Jesse Lee is just, come on. Like if you don't like him, Weird, weird. I don't know what's going on in there. Like, come on, guys. He's awesome. 
Um, I also, I also like LaRoyce. And the reason why I like LaRoyce is because he's so humble. Um, he grew here, grew up here in Harvey. Um, so that was a suburb that was very close to me that I lived in here in Chicago. Um, and so he's just a really nice guy and he's super talented. And yeah, so he, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, now from med, um, so I got some new personal faves. I'm always going to like Nick always because he makes me laugh. We have such a good time when we interview together. He's so funny. If you guys saw that, that one, when I was like behind the scenes with him and we're messing with this baby and it was hilarious. And every time you meet Nick, he's going to make you laugh. Like there's something about him that just is hilarious to me. So I would say Nick is, is one of my personal faves. I always connect with him good. And I don't know if you guys noticed the year before I connected really, really well, um, with Dominic Reigns. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but, <laughs> but like, I was like, okay, he's pretty cool. Like I, I would love to interview him again. Um, and then from fire, I love Joe. Joe is so sweet. He's such a really nice guy. I love, um, I love Cara too. I, and Jesse Spencer, I'm going to say Jesse Spencer because, oh, let me tell you about this one time. Okay. Listen up guys. Seriously. So it was one year and it was just the picture if you were on my Instagram that I posted um, with Taylor Kinney, right? So I was at the after party with all of the cast there. And that, that was the cool thing about when you do one Chicago day. After the whole press day, we go out to eat and it's a, it's a party, literally. Like it's, it's an after party. That first year I missed the after party and I kicked myself in the ass because it has not been like that ever since. So um, this particular year, Jesse Spencer, he was there, right? And so I'm wearing what I'm wearing, like a little leather, you know, skirt and all of this and whatever. And he goes, he comes, I hate that I'm going to do this accent, but he goes, I really like your swagger. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, Jesse. And he's like, yeah, you know, he was like, and I don't know. I mean, I, unless you tell me I'm the type of person, like, just because you said, uh, give me a nice compliment, that doesn't mean like you're crushing on me, but it was so super cute. It was hilarious when he said that. I was like, okay, Jesse. He was like, yeah, look at you, you know, and all of that. He was like, yeah, I like the way you, you clean up or whatever. So he's really, 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 really a sweetheart. Um, um, also, okay, let's take a look at some of your questions. Questions, questions, questions. Um, here's one. Jace, Jesse and Tracy upset. I want to know, have you spoken to Tracy about the kiss? I have not spoken to Tracy about the kiss, but I want to know about the kiss. That's why I need to be talking to Tracy on the IG live because I think we all want to know about the kiss, right? Like, whoa, <laughs> right? So, um, I will make it my mission. Like literally I have a list of like trying to get Tracy, Jesse, all of these other people in the future so that you guys can, um, enjoy, you know, these interviews and keep, keep enjoying the interviews. Okay. Let's keep it moving guys. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do, do I ship Bretzy? So I am... A, a type of person where I ship all the ships, if that makes any sense, right? So um, there was a, a while that I loved when um, Joe and, and uh, Brett was, you know, a relationship. I thought that they were really cute together. But I'm all about like, if the character is happy and in love, then hey, I'm, I'm with it. You know what I mean? Like each character I noticed, like, you know, experiments with each of the different characters. Right. And so I'm not one to really be like, oh, they better be together or this one better be together. Just because I, from a standpoint for me, like I love them all, you know, so it, it just makes it easier. So, um, do I think Brett 
and Casey are good together. When I spoke to her, or when I spoke to Carl, and speaking about the character, um, I can understand where she's coming from. Like, she brings out the silly side in him. Everybody needs someone to bring out a silly side in them, right? So um, I'm not opposed to it. Um, my favorite was, was, you know, Brett and Cruz, like, honestly, just because in the sense of like, they're both kind of silly. So I thought that they worked really well together. Do you watch the shows now? I do off and on, but I'm so super busy guys that I really can't just like binge shows all day. I remember one year I prepared myself to watch all, I binge watched it in like two weeks. I binge watched every season from start to finish. Um, and so then I, then I fall off because I have other things I have to watch and do and research for. So I can be like really prepared for any interview that I do. So sometimes I really don't have the time and, um, I can't watch all the shows, but I do from time to time when I, it's on, I'll definitely watch it. Um, if I was not an interview, oh, this is such a good question. What would I be doing? Oh my God, I no one's ever asked me that. Shoot. What would I be doing if I was not interviewing? Mm. I love it so much, guys. I, I honestly don't see myself doing, I, 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 you got me. You honestly, with this question, you got me. I have no freaking idea what I would be doing if I was not interviewing. I absolutely love it. I love meeting the people. I love, like, I've. there's been some interviews I made people cry. I love making people laugh. I, 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 like, and then I get to travel, you know, NBC has flown me out to LA several times. Like, I absolutely love it. I, I love connecting not only with the talent, but then the, the fans like yourself from the interview. So like, Whoa, that is an amazing question. And I would have to get back to you on that one. What is one of the most memorable interviews? Ooh, that's a good question. You guys are, Ava, come on, listen. What is my most memorable interview? Wowzers. So, okay, so from the one Chicago shows, definitely with me and Patty singing. I mean, like, he... How can I forgive Patty on PD? I'm sorry. If we rewind, let's say Patty's one of the favorites too. <sighs> They're all my favorite. Um, Patty is so fun in the sense of like, let's he he just is like one of those like spur of the moment type of fun people. Um, when he came, like we just bounce off of each other, kind of like me and Nick. Um, Patty, that whole spur of the moment, like that was not planned. Like, let's start singing Chicago now. You know, Chicago, you know, like that was totally just the, the you know, chemistry. And so every time that I do interview him, he is like that. And so it's, it, it's, it's super cool. So from him, uh, from that, I would say him and Jesse with the whole him doing the impression of Voight. If you have not seen Jesse do Voight impression, please go watch that interview. <laughs> That was so hilarious. It was so hilarious. And and um, that's the thing that sucks too when you're on the red carpet. You literally only have five minutes. That's it. Like literally they'll cut you off five to seven minutes. So I try to jam pack everything in that five minutes. It is super hard. And it is just, oh, it drives me crazy. I'm like, can I please have more time? So when I got to interview uh, Marina, um, one on one, that was super cute, and that was when she was pregnant, and it. I, I love that interview. Um, other interviews that are ha don't have to do this sh with the Chicago shows, I would probably say, um, maybe Halle Berry. I'm thinking just because um, she played a little game with me, and she talked to everybody. She was super super nice. So that was a good question, though. That was a good one too. What would you have done if not this? So, okay, that was the same question as earlier. Who's your favorite on-screen couple and who's your personal favorite character? 
guys, that is so hard. Like, you. <laughs> um, so we talked about the couple thing a little bit earlier. So I think you guys kind of got an idea there. My personal favorite character, um, honestly, I would have to say is uh, Lindsay. Um, I just really liked her character as far as um, the complexity and how she came from a very difficult situation with her mother and and just her over overcoming that and then starting working, you know, as a police officer. So I, I honestly like the uh, character development on on her character. I'm sad that it got cut, you know, um, because I, I really liked her. And then I kind of the same thing with um, Monica Raymond's character. Um, I was sad. She seemed very complex um, it, it, in a sense, um, it, almost too complex where it starts to kind of a little bit tied on like, okay, you're getting annoying. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still liked her character because it was very like, she had so many emotions and so many. It, yeah. So I, I would have to say that it is the two pay, favorite pe people. Um, what is, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. What is your favorite TV show? This is from Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Favorite TV show? Um, ooh, what am I currently watching? Um, I have so many of them because I watch so much stuff, kind of. Um, so currently, I love any TV show that's going to make me laugh, but I also love drama. So I'll say um, I absolutely love Between the Chicago Shows and... I love Law and Order SVU. Like that is uh, honestly the best show. It, it, it's same thing as you know, like Chicago PD. But I, I don't know. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Olivia Benson. Okay, um, Adriana, if I'm saying your name right, wants to know what's this? Was this always my dream job? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wanted to be the next Oprah, guys, because, you know, Oprah had her show here in Chicago. And I was like, OK, I want to do that, you know. So absolutely. I've always like even when I was a little girl, my um, I have a brother who's younger than me. And so I would practice interviewing on him. I would pretend like <laughs> I would pretend like he's Michael Jackson's monkey. <laughs> And I would call him Bubbles. And I'd be like, so Bubbles, tell us how it is to be Michael Jackson's monkey. <laughs> he was like, I'm not Michael Jackson's monkey. And I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> okay. Um, who was your first actor that you interviewed from the One Chicago franchise? Um, so that was at the press day. So I would say, ooh. I would have to go back and look at that video. I really don't remember who was the actual first one that came down the red carpet. That was so long ago. Um, but in, in all honesty, I think I answered it a little bit earlier, but I would I would definitely say, you know, Patty, Jesse, um, the other, both Jesse's, and um, I'm missing one. I, Nick and Nick, Nick. Okay. Um, Let's see. I know you said, please see this question. Have you spoken to Tracy and Jesse? But we talked about that. So no, I have not. Um, let's see. Who influenced or who do you get inspired to do what I do? Thank you, Kayla. Um, I would definitely say, <laughs> I just said that. And then, um, and who did you get inspired? Um, so honestly, with me doing like this thing on my own, um, I think it was just inspired when people were telling me no. For some reason, I'm really weird when people tell me no. It's like, oh, okay, you're telling me no. I'm going to prove you, and I'll show you that, yes, I can. So I don't know. There's this, like, thing that I have that's ingrained in me that just will make me, like, like, persevere and just like no is like a like, okay, well, I'm talking to the wrong person, obviously. So, um... I would say still Oprah is definitely a huge influence. Um, and then there's other, you know, uh, personalities that like, I love Ellen. I love how she can make people laugh and dance and do all that stuff. So I try to like have my own style and incorporate that all in one, you know, but I definitely see like the influence that I have gotten from Oprah and all these other people that have been doing it for a very, very long time. Um, opinions about Tracy. I love her. Um, she 
crazy if you guys saw um, when she first started to be on PD, you know, the world was being introduced to her. That was a little bit after Sophia left. Um, and Tracy was super sweet on the carpet. You know, she's, she's new. She was new at this time and new to it. You can actually see that interview. And she was so sweet. Like her and I sang together too, you know, and she was like, Ooh, you know, so that was just like the year of singing on the red carpet. It was super fun. Um, I would, I, I'm going to try to, I'm going to reach out again and try to get a one-on-one -on -one with her on Instagram live. Um, so I have a list. I want to get Patrick because um, if you guys saw recently with the One Chicago Day virtually, he, I didn't get to hear anything from him. And I was like really annoyed. You know, they cut me off after like three minutes. It was super short. I was annoyed. I'm not going to lie to you. It was so annoying. And I'm like, Ugh. so I did request. I already put a request in and I'm like, can I get Patrick again, please? Like I, he, we didn't get to say anything to each other, really. Um, he let LaRoyce answer, which I love LaRoyce, but, you know, I would have loved to kind of interact with Patty. So I am trying to see if I can get, um, you know, Patty one-on-one. -on -one. I'll request Tracy. I'll also um, request Jesse because he's highly requested. And I, I still kind of want to do, um, I've done in the past one, or no, that's wrong. Um, I want to get uh, Cara, I've, I, I've gotten her in the past with her in, um, um, John Seda, but not one-on-one. -on -one. So I will definitely try to, um, make that happen. Um, you, do I play a mute? <laughs> no, I do not. I wish to God I could. I feel like people that play musical instruments are geniuses. Like I was just talking uh, to my boyfriend about this. I'm like, I cannot read music. That's like reading a whole different language. I, Kudos to you who can. I, I wish I could. Um, please tell me your opinion on Dick Wolf as a writer and Bolden as a leader with his lieutenants. Okay. So I don't think Dick Wolf writes shows. Um, he just is like the executive producer. He's the one that comes up with like the ideas of like, um, he, you know, has an entertainment company. So he kind of reminds me of like, what's the guy that was doing the Me Too guy? I can't think of him. Um, but I think he's kind of like that. Not not a Me Tooer. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I think he's like in charge of a production company and he just produces content or, you know, you know what I mean? Um, the writers, I've met them before. Um, that was the year that, and I'm kind of pissed. I don't know if you guys remember Chicago Justice. That was honestly like a really good show. And I'm sad that that kind of got knocked off the franchise. Um, I, I honestly really enjoyed that. But that at that time, that's when I met the writers and they, you know, had conversations. So again, that's another video that I have on there is uh, talking to the writers for a little bit. Um, and Bolden as a leader with his lieutenants. I think Bolden is amazing. Um, he's like a papa bear. No? Do you guys agree? Um, I just feel like all the time I see him, I'm, oh, Papa Bear, you know? Oh. And even when he sees me on the carpet, like, he's super amazing. So um, I think that it should remain that way. I think that he does a good job on the show of keeping egos, you know, at a certain level. And people, you know, he he's like the... Um, devil's like I don't want to say devil's advocate but he's just like really good at keeping like the peace and keeping everybody kind of like in line I think things could get you know since some of them are younger things can get a little bit um you know emotional and I think he he just he does a really good job of keeping everything gathered gathered together um okay uh Keisha says it makes me laugh when people say you need experience how do you expect how do you expect yes Keisha um, to you to get the experience without giving someone a dang old chance. I, I don't understand it. I li literally, this is what I shout from the mountaintops. Like, duh. Like, okay, for example, um, people say to me, well, here's one thing I always get a no, um, because I don't have the numbers. So I'm not like, you know, a YouTuber that has like millions of subscribers. And I'm like, 
Well, that's crappy because if you gave me the interview, maybe I would get the numbers. No, but they look at it like, no, we want you to get the numbers without us. And then we'll come knocking on your door and then you probably will reject us because we rejected you. Yeah. So, um, okay. So let's move on because I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to tell the winner. Um, we talked about that already. I want to go down more and see if there, um, one Chicago fan page says, would I ever come to the UK? Yes, I would. Absolutely. I wish I could. Excuse me. Um, I love traveling. Um, I have my passport. Um, I took my first out of the country trip like in 2019, I think it was. Yeah, I went to the Bahamas. And so um, before Corona hit, I was like, oh, I am going to be a travelista. And then Corona said, no, you're not. And then I said, oh, damn, okay. And so now here I am. So um, when things open back up, I absolutely want to start traveling more, um, you know, going to different places that I've never been in UK would be definitely on that list. So um, let's see what else is you guys have. And I'll try to get this Jesse and Tracy interview. Um, also is Jesse. Yes, Sophie. Yes. <laughs> he Yes. Do you even have to ask that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, okay. And so I know a lot of you guys, or a lot of people comment and like, oh, stop flirting with them or, oh, you want to date them or, oh, you want to, the... there is nothing wrong with complimenting someone on their looks and just that's it. Like, I don't need to date them. I honestly would don't really find dating a, an actor attractive. I have my reasons. I will get into that another day. But um, yeah, he has these eyes and then these lashes and then these freckles and then yeah. oh God. Oh Lord Jesus. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this last question. So let me pick. Let me make it good. Mm, here's one. Yes. Josie, do you remember the present you got, Jesse? I absolutely do remember. And a little secret about that, guys. So uh, if you guys watch my interview, one year <laughs> I interviewed Jesse, and I thought it would be really cute and really different to, I know I knew he liked golf, and I'm like, what can I get him? His birthday, I think, wasn't, you know, was like close to when I was interviewing him and I'm like, what can I get him? That's like funny, like a gag gift. You know what I mean? So I got him a toilet, um, <laughs> a toilet golf game thing. And so I'm like, Oh my God, here you go. You can have it. You know, he never took it. I ended up just returning it back to Amazon and getting my money back. But yeah, he never, he never took it. So that's just a little FYI for you guys. Some behind the scenes. Okay, so now it is time for me to announce the winner. Drum roll, please. I have the winner here. And it is, let's see, I had it right here. I think it's Riley. Let's see. It is, where did it go? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. I thought it picked one. I guess it didn't. Okay. Here we go. I'm looking now. Pray, everybody, that it's you. Ah! Okay, give me one more second. Oh, stupid computer. I gotta do this, and then I'll tell you guys. Sorry. I had it up and then it disappeared like an idiot <laughs> that it is. And then I have all this stuff. So hold on. Can you guys see? Okay. 
No! Not my computer shutting. Okay, here we go. It's patience, please, people. Patience. This is live, you know? I don't know why I'm talking like that. That's so weird. Oh my God, I'm such a weirdo. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Help me. Okay. I'm getting my life in order, y'all. Don't judge me. I had a lot of stuff to do before this, and I did not. I thought I had it ready, and I didn't. And now I'm annoyed, and oh my God. Yo. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is this taking forever, Julius? Hold on. Here we go. I'm going to find ya. It's, I'm trying to find the video, and I can't even find my own video. There's so many of them. Here it is. Okay. Here we go. Delete. I'm going to put it up in there. And I'm nervous because I don't know who it's going to pick. Started off. Here we go. It's going now. Vicky Molinar. I hope you live in uh like I hope you don't live out of the country, but that's who the winner is. Vicky Molnar, if I'm saying that correctly. Vicky Molnar. If Vicky is in the United States, I could definitely send it over. Vicky Molnar, if this is, you are the winner of the jacket. Um, so congratulations. I will send it. I will try to reach out to you if I can find you. If not, find me. But congratulations, Vicky Molnar. Um, and listen, guys, just because you didn't win this one doesn't mean in the future there won't be other ones. Okay. I have so many events that I go to. So there's always room to win something. Okay, guys. So I will, and I hope you guys like this. I know this is like my first time doing the, this YouTube live. I've never done it before ever, 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 ever in my life. And so this is my first time. I had a few hiccups, but thank you so much for dealing with that. Um, maybe I'll do this more often. I, I just, it depends on the feedback and, and how you guys liked it and, and, you know, we can try to keep the conversations going. Maybe I'll start, you know, delving into the shows and a little bit deeper for these, you know, newer seasons. And then we can have chat time and we could just like talk and be like, yeah, that was really crazy. And, you know, why did Cruz do that? And, you know, like that kind of talk, right? Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting. Like I said earlier, that really helps with me being able to access other actors and access the actors that you like the most. So I look forward to bringing you guys more content, um, you know, regularly. Thank you so much for your support for the, the stuff that I have put out there currently. I never thought in a million years that it would get so, such a good response that it has. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Let's try to do this again. Bye.